So I'm super excited about this one because you, we get to do like a lot of improvements in one go. Now, this is probably one of the craziest things I think I've done. Have I just completely ruined this bed? <laughs> a disaster. It is like a bomb has hit it. Oh my gosh, it looks beautiful. I am so, so happy with how this has turned out. Good morning and welcome or welcome back to our channel. Today is actually one of my favourite videos to film. We need to do quite a lot of improvements, especially in this room here. So we're currently in what we have dubbed the pink room because of the pink bed. That will be going soon, but in a way that you would not imagine <laughs> if it all goes out, if it all goes to plan. Not sure yet, we'll see. But we called it the pink room because it had the pink bed in it. And it's been a bit of a mess the last few weeks. If you've been watching along with the videos, you will know that we've been trying to do little bits in here as we go along, but we are also doing the garden at the same time. So it's only when we've got like a spare minute that we'll then come in here and carry on doing stuff pretty much. I actually booked off today off work. It is just after the last Maybank holiday and I thought I'll book off the Tuesday just have another day and that means that I'll have some more time to get into this room and actually start doing some stuff. So I'm super excited about this one because you, we get to do like a lot of improvements in one go which is always the best type of thing because then you can stand back and actually be like that was great like look at it look at look, look at the transformation so that's what we're going with today i did start filming i think it was last week when i started one of the mini projects in here so i'm going to pop those clips in here and then i'll meet you back in a second afternoon i am just thinking to myself let's do a nice little upcycling project thing so a couple of bits that I got from my kid a little while ago I've had them in the box so I just want to actually get started doing some stuff we was going to carry on with the garden today but we had a full day of it yesterday and we built quite a few of the planters and honestly my body is in bits like my lower back that is hard work out there in the garden like honestly I am absolutely knackered today so we was going to get back out there but we caught sort of like, you know, when the time just keeps going on, we're like, oh yeah, we'll, maybe in an hour, let's have lunch first, let's have a coffee, and then eventually it was like, do you know what, let's just not do that today, and let's do that another day when we've got a bit of energy back, because that was a full-on day yesterday. So instead, I thought we would do a little project, still for this room, so I'm in the when we've just done the drawers and done the panelling and I'm just trying to add bits to it as we go along. We have also moved out the big unit that was in here as well. So it's still a little bit messy, but we're getting there. We're getting better. So project I want to do right now is actually, let me show you the bits for it and then tell me if you can guess, like pause the video and comment and tell me if you can guess what this is going to be and then we'll, we'll get into it. So we've got these two bowls and a tray. Very, very simple. Um, pick these up for my care. These are the bamboo bowls. I can put everything down in the description box in case you want to know what they are, the products and stuff, what they're called. Um, I'll put the links to them. So those two, tray. We've also got wood filler, wood glue, paintbrush. We've got primer, we've got paint. Can you guess what this is going to be? Let me know. Right. So, hopefully you had a guess. <laughs> um, my vision for this, and again, these are all new things that I'm trying out. We don't know if they're going to work, but we're going to give it a right good go. But this is my view. Let's build it, and then you will hopefully see what I'm trying to get at. So, those two on top of each other. Are we getting there? You seeing it? Seeing the vision? And then this, like that. And it's going to be basically a little side table. What do we think? I mean, right now it doesn't look the best, but imagine it all in the same colour and actually together properly. I thought that would look quite nice next to, I'm going to show you this, this is an absolute mess, don't judge. But <laughs> over there, there's a little chair, there's actually a green chair, which I'm going to ask my mum if she can help me upholster into a nice cream fabric. So I'm thinking, why get a new one when we can just try and upholster that one? So there's a little armchair there it's not little it's actually quite a big one it's it actually spins around we got it when we first moved in and i'm thinking this next to it might be a nice little side table i'm not sure if the tray is too big for it but 
we're gonna give it a go. So, plan is that I need to sand it all down. I then need to get some glue and basically glue these two half circles together so it makes that ball effect. And then we're gonna wood filler the gap so that it just looks like a seamless circle table leg. Then sand it all down, sand that as well, prime it, paint it, stick it all together. That is the vision. How it plans out? I do not know, but we're going to give it a go. So first job is to sand it. I need to take all these stickers off and stuff. And then we're going to sand it down and then go from there. I'm telling you that there ain't no other way. Pack your bags and then you will go away. I'm not going to be begging you to stay. Mm -hmm. So maybe if you ask me yesterday, I would handle differently things are different i'm a new me that's not gonna happen that's not gonna happen that's not that's not gonna happen so even if you're asking even even if you're asking cause i do what i do and it's time for something new yeah This is what I've called our sort of wooden ball. It's been glued together, it's got the wood filler around it, so now I just need to sand it all down and then we can actually start painting it. So the battery is flashing at me, so I'm not gonna do another time lapse, but what I'm gonna do is a three, two, one, wherever it is all nice, smooth and sanded down and also the top of the tray is also glued on as well. So let's do a three, two, one. And done. So it's all been sanded all around it, so it's nice and smooth. And then I've just stuck the top on there with wood glue i'm hoping that holds quite well the ball held well really together like it's super solid so i'm thinking that that wood glue should hold that top on quite nicely so we're going to leave that to dry now and then we're going to have to prime it and paint it later that'll probably be like a last job tonight or something when i'm sitting there because i wanted to firm up over the next few hours so that it's all nice and solid is it slightly off there let's bring it around a little bit that's better isn't it <laughs> looks like a little man with a hat on <laughs> um okay so that's job number one what i'm thinking to do next now i've got a couple of things to do but i'm thinking what's probably the best time cost time cost time effective way to get around this stuff i'm actually thinking i might carry on with the bedside tables so a couple of weeks ago in one of the videos i'll pop it on the top I took our lovely bedside tables downstairs um, in the garden and I started sanding, but I was sanding for absolutely hours, like it just wasn't budging and I feel like my arm went off in vibration for hours after that because it just took me too long to sand it down. So I found this stuff online, which I'm going to try on the one that I've got. So the other one that's downstairs, it's already mostly sanded, but there's still some bits that are quite just, they're just not budging. So I'm gonna use this stuff that I bought, I'll show you in a second, and wipe it all on there and then leave it to sort of get in there for a little bit. And I think I'm just gonna do that with this one here as well. So this is the other bedside table. It's a bit dark if you can't see it, but they're gonna brighten up. So they are very, very beautiful bedside tables. They're very art deco like, they're from a hotel. Um, so I'm just trying to get them lighter so that we don't have this orangey color anymore because I'm just not a fan of it. There's paint on it because we knew that it was gonna sand them down and stuff so we didn't really bother to move them around too much when we was painting the walls, etc. in here. So I'm gonna take this downstairs, dismantle it, and then I'll show you what I got to hopefully strip the varnish so that I don't have to sand for a million and one days. Okay, so I'm out in the garden. I've got this bedside table, which is the one that we haven't started on yet. And then I've also got this one here, which is the one that we did start on last time. So you'll see, it did okay. Like if you compare that one, which is a very dark orange to that, it did quite good. It just took me a very, very long time to get it to that place. So the top as well, you'll see like on the edges, it did start to come away, but yeah, it just took way too long. So 
I bought this stuff here. It's called Paint and Varnish Remover. I literally just got this on Amazon. It's the Eco Alternative Solvent Alkali Free. And apparently it removes all types of paints, all varnishes, etc, etc. So I'm going to give that a go. It does say, depending on what sort of coating is on there, how long you leave it on for. Now, I don't actually know what is on this. I think it's a varnish. So I'm thinking the 15 to 30 minutes. So it's actually not as long as I thought. I thought I might have to put it on and leave it pretty much all day, but it's not too bad. So what I'm gonna do, um, and also I bought the sander because I didn't know we had to sand a coat off first before you then put it on, but it says just whack it on. So I'm gonna put some gloves on because last time I didn't and it got all over my hands when I used the lining wax. And I don't want this on this because I think this is a bit more it says eco alternative, but I don't know if it's a bit more chemically as well. So I'm gonna pop some gloves on and then just wipe it all over pretty much and let it sit there for half an hour. Oh no, first I need to dismantle it. So I'll use the drill, dismantle it like I did this one because it's a lot easier to get around the nooks and crannies and stuff once it's dismantled. This is a bit difficult to, to work around. So get all the pieces out, lay them out here and then whack that on and see where we get to. Also, I'm about to put you on a bit of a time lapse and I'm looking very, very crazy because it's a bit cold today, like the wind's out, so it is a bit chilly, although I'm quite warm standing here now. Uh, maybe it's because I just lugged that bedside table down from upstairs. Um, but yeah, it's a bit chilly today, so I've got Wade's big jacket on, so I might look a bit mental, but there we go. Big jacket on with a coat, with a summer dress, but. I'm not really sure if you start to see it working because at the moment it just looks like I've got paste just paste on top it's not really doing anything it's not like melting anything away I mean I do have to come in it says to leave it on for half an hour and then get the scraper out so we're gonna leave it we're gonna see how it does but at the moment yeah it just looks like paste sitting on top of something it's not really looks like it's doing anything at the moment well, there's like some bubbles but is the bubble just where I applied it? Who knows? But yeah, we'll leave that for half an hour, come back out and see what it looks like. I'm then going to start number project number three of today. Because um, we've sort of got the little ball table which needs to dry. We've got this out here which should be melting away. So I'm actually going to start project number three. But then I'm thinking I might change my dress because the next project involves some fabric dye. So we don't want to get the dress all mucky so I'm gonna go get some old clothes on that I use for decorating and stuff and then we'll move on to project number three okay so I got myself in some clothes decorating clothes that I don't mind to get a bit dirty a bit of paint on now you'll probably see behind me the bed now this is probably one of the craziest things I think I've done where like I'm not sure whether this is gonna completely ruin the bed or it's gonna be all right, I've seen some very, very mixed reviews of this, but I've also seen a few videos where it's gone really well. So that's what I'm hoping for. But as you know, this is the pink bed that we were thinking about whether to get a new one or not. Now we're not, there's nothing wrong with the bed. We like the bed, we just don't like the color of it. So I was playing around with getting a new bed. I was playing around with potentially like reupholstering it. And then I found another idea that I thought, let's give it a go. And if worse comes to worse and it doesn't work out, then we can always reupholster it. So it's not going to be the end of the world, but we're going to give this one a go. So I've seen people online use fabric paint. 
So this is Fabrico, it colours all types of fabric and it says that we can get this bed to black. Now, you can use all different colours. They've got them on the website. So I think I got these just from Amazon, but you can look on other websites and things like that because I don't think they have that many colours on Amazon. But you can get like green and red and orange and pink and all different types of colours. Um, it's obviously easier to go darker than it is to go lighter. So I did think about reupholstering this in more of a cream beige colour, but it's just unlikely that we're gonna be able to get the pink up to more of like that light cream. So I thought instead, let's go darker. And I thought, what would go quite nicely in here? And I thought black. Um, the room's quite light. We've got obviously the cream paneling, all the walls are white. The furniture that I've painted recently is quite a light color. Everything else in here that we're doing, even the bedside tables, I'm trying to get them to a lighter color. The carpet's quite light, so, and we'll get some light bedding. So I thought having a black bed would look really, really nice in here. And if it goes well, then I'm also thinking to potentially paint the chair as well which is green at the moment so that actually might be a lot easier because that's a dark green so to get that from dark green to black might be way easier than trying to get pink to black but we're going to give it a go i've seen some very very mixed reviews on amazon all the way from like it worked amazingly well to it was a complete disaster so we're, we're trying this one out it's going to be a bit of an experiment and we'll see how it goes um it does say that it doesn't change the feeling of the fabric because that's obviously something that you are worried about when you're painting something like that this is, is velvet is it's going to go rock hard and just be not great it does say that it doesn't really change the it says with no or minimal change to the fabric texture so we're going to give this a go. Um, it says, so ensure the fabric is clean. Uh, dampen the fabric with water. So I'm going to get a sponge out and a, and a little, I've got a little bowl of water, a sponge and some gloves in there. Going to put water in the bowl, dampen the whole fabric with water. So I'll get the sponge out and wet all that. I'm going to start with the headboard first. Although should I start with the bottom? No, we're just going to go for it. We're just going to go all in. So I'm going to start with the headboard first. Um, shake the bottle well, pour into a bowl using a sponge or paintbrush. I'm going to use a paintbrush for this. Rub the fabric coat into the fabric. If needed, apply additional coats. Now, I have seen some people say to also water this down, so I'm going to experiment. I'm going to wet the fabric down first, pour it into a bowl, see how thick it is. If I think I should dilute it a little bit, I might put a bit of water. It also might make it last a bit longer because what I want to do is apply a couple of coats but do it in very, very thin layers so I'm not just whacking loads of fabric paint on it at once and it would just be a big splodge. So if I do it more in very, very light diluted layers and build it up, that should be it a lot better. So we're going to give this a go and see if it works. All right, let me get water in the bowl, get the gloves on, wet it down.
Right, that is one coat done. Doesn't look the best. <laughs> have I just completely ruined this bed? <laughs> I just have to laugh to myself to make myself not cry, but I'm hoping that that's just coat one and that we'll do a second coat and it will look a lot better. It, I mean, a bit of a marbly effect going on. No, it just looks like dye is running down it, which obviously it is because it's drying. So it's still very wet, even when I touch it. It's still super wet. You can see the black there on my finger. So I'm going to leave that to dry and hope that it sort of dries a bit nicer, still dries soft, and then we can do another coat. And then hopefully that, I mean, it's like a wall, isn't it? When you do the first coat on a wall, it doesn't always look the best. So that's what I'm hoping with this fabric paint. But we'll see. Trial and error. Experiment, you know. I did say it's a bit crazy, so we'll see how the experiment goes. Um, I'm going to go and give myself some lunch because it is about 2 o'clock now. And I'm quite hungry, actually. So I'm going to go and eat some food and then I'm going to pop outside to see how that bit's getting on the bedside tables and see if I can start scraping away the paint or not. Outside and it has sort of worked. I've started to scrape off bits, you'll see those little shavings on the floor. So it has done something, I don't know how much it's taken off whether it's just like the top layer or not but I'm going to keep scraping it but yeah I just got a cheap pack of scrapers from Amazon and then I'm just trying to scrape away. I do think it will take most of the effort out of the sand and I'm thinking if I can get at least the top layers off and then go over it with the sand and then it will make the job a lot quicker so I'm going to keep on scraping away and I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Alright I have filled my sanding quota for about a year over the next 10 years I've been sanding and sanding and scraping for hours but look at them. I am so impressed like aren't they just beautiful they're even nice like that without anything else on them. Just bringing them light again, I'm obsessed. Sorry, phone rang, but what do we think of these? How nice have they come up? It has been a lot of work and I'm definitely not sanding anything for the foreseeable future, but I am very impressed with how they've come up. Very lovely. Right, next job. I really want to get these finished. So, next thing I'm going to do is put on some liming wax so i used this the other day when i was doing the wood slats for the chest of drawers and i'm very happy that i did because now i have sort of learned how to do it so it's this stuff here the special effects wax liming that i got from amazon um last time i didn't wear gloves so we're going to do that this time i've learned all my lessons and then also i left it to dry too long because i did it all and then i went over it this time what I'm going to do is do it section by section so I'll do like the top for example and then I'll buff it in and then work my way across all of them so that they all look all lovely. Um, it did say to use this and I did use this last time I'm going to use it again it's to brush it and I definitely think I need to in this because there's a lot of dust on them from when I was sanding so you literally just brush it like this so you'll see like I don't know if you're able to see all the dust coming off of it but get all that dust off all out of all of the nooks and crannies of the wood and then get the gloves on get the sponge out i just picked up one of these from the dishmatic so i don't have any other sponges in the cupboard so i just got this use that dip it in with the gloves on obviously because i want to get everywhere very vigorously rub it in and then i'm going to wipe it then down with that cloth so that it's all nice so i'm going to give that a go now i'll show you what it looks like and here. they are finished oh i'm so excited that they're finished hours and hours of work and they are done um, so I used the lime wash wax all over, you can see they're all over my gloves and then I just went in with the furniture lacquer there and just gave it a nice top coat, it's drying still so you see some wet patches but those are done oh, I'm so excited, what do we think of them? let me know, do we like them? I think the work paid off because I think they look lovely I'm going to let them dry, I'm going to take all this stuff inside, let them dry and then we'll take them upstairs and put them in situ. Good morning, it has been a few days since I last spoke to you. What day is it today? Saturday. I think the last time I spoke to you was on Tuesday, yeah my day off. I've been to the office for the last few days so I didn't pick up the camera and I haven't actually done anything in here since then. So. I thought today we would carry on in this room. Now I don't really want to show you the bed until we got the new bed in. I ordered some new bedding from Dusk and I got like new cushion covers, um, like the decorative cushions as well as like actual pillowcases and a duvet cover and a new duvet and 
all that stuff and i really want to show you it when it's all together it does say it's being delivered today so i am going to give it a couple of hours to see if it arrives we actually need to leave here at around four o'clock because my brother's birthday is today oh it's on his birthday's on monday tuesday his birthday's on tuesday but they're doing a bit of a mini celebration at my mum's house today so we need to leave around four so I'm hoping that the bedding gets here before that time. Um, so I'm not going to show you that right now, but we are going to carry on tackling the rest of the room. So the other side of the room currently looks like this. A disaster. It is like a bomb has hit it. It's just stuff everywhere. So I need to clean it, basically. I just need to get all this stuff out of here. I mean, there's like bags in here that don't need to be in here. That's the big box I got from Ikea a couple of weeks ago. I'm just going to pop out the stuff that I need for this room and then take those boxes upstairs because they're for the sort of junk room at the moment. We need to start organising it. So I bought those two boxes for that. So I'm going to take that all upstairs. Clear off the chair, etc. That box there is our new blind. That mirror needs to go on the wall. So that will stay in here. So I just need to do a bit of a tidy up. I also might spot some lovely faux flowers i went to the range the other day and picked up a whole lot of stuff so i want to do that today as well and arrange that really nicely on here now i've got an idea for this bit here because the tv we're actually probably not going to have in here anymore i'm thinking to go more the projector route so i've ordered a shelf so that we can pop the projector on it i need to order the projector i'm looking at ones on amazon for now just to see if we like it or not i don't want to spend loads of money let me turn you around i don't want to spend loads and loads of money on a projector and then we don't really like the whole vibe of it so i thought if i get a cheaper one for now from amazon and then if we really like it then in a couple of months or something then we can splurge out on a more expensive one so i think the tv is going to go so that i can then clear off this side here and then i can put some flowers and some other decorative bits on here um and then also wade said he's going to do the blinds today which is exciting we've been sleeping in this room when no one else is here it's just me and wade we sleep in the green bedroom um but when other people are here like my parents come and stay or when kiara's here um wade's daughter then we'll let them sleep in the green room because it's got all the blinds and the, the curtains and stuff and we'll sleep in here so we've been sleeping in here with no blinds so not ideal and um, so i'm hoping that we get those blinds up today as well so first job is i just need to clear this stuff the bedding arrived i was so worried that in this video we wasn't able to show you the bed and the bedside tables in all their glory with the new bedding but it has arrived so you've got a big pile of stuff here i got it from dusk um and i went for let me go to the bottom so i got us a new duvet now i actually went a bit bigger on the duvet because the other side of this is actually really short and when you do it equal you can see the mattress and I really hate it. So I got a bigger duvet, I got a king size. I got a feels like down duvet in the nine togs, obviously it's summer. So picked that up. 
And then I got this bedding, let me get it, which is called Girona. Um, 200 thread count, it's the King Duvet cover, and it's got these cute little bluey grey balls at the end of the pillowcases and also the duvet cover as well. Um, one of these is probably the pillowcases, yeah, the Girona pillowcases to match. Then I got some just plain white pillowcases as well, they're the Cambridge. And then I got some decorative cushions. So I got two of these really big ones because we have the big ones usually at the back by the headboard. So I picked those up. They're called the Linen Look Stripe Cushion Covers. They're in the 65 times 65. Got two of those. And then I also got these standard ones which are Linen Look Black Cushion Covers to go with the new black bed in here, which is a 50 by 50. So, so happy the bedding has come. We're gonna put that on in a second. Also, can you see something different here? Blinds are up. You're not going to see it very well because obviously the light is coming in. It's such a lovely day today. So the light's coming in through the window. Can you see it better on this side? Yeah, slightly better on that side, can't you? So these are the Roman blinds. They're very different to the ones we've heard before. Usually we get the sort of the wooden, I don't even know what they're called, the style of them, but the classic sort of blinds. But I wanted to get something slightly different in here. So we went with these, I'm trying to show you the fabric. There you go, that's better, isn't it? So they're a linen fabric, and I just love how they do that pleat effect when you do them up. How gorgeous. I might need to seam them a little bit just to get them really nice and sort of structured, but they've literally just been put up, so we'll leave them for a sec. But let me show you what it looks like when you do the window down. They are also, they've got a blackout lining, so I'm so excited to sleep in here tonight. Oh, come on. I'm doing this one-handed, so it's a bit slow. But even the way that they open up, I think, is so pretty with all the pleats of the fabric. Right. So that is them fully down. Let me stand back so you can see the color of them properly. So that is what they look like. What do we think? Do we like them? Slightly wonky on that side. I need to pull that side slightly down. Um, we did have to sort of fiddle them with a little bit because some of the clips had come off on the back so they weren't pleating properly. So we fiddled them a bit. Might have to fiddle with it a little bit more just to get that side all the way down. But what do we think of them? I think they look really nice in here, especially like we've got the, obviously they're more gray um, and then the wall's a little bit more warmer, but I do think it's still, goes really well so blinds are up let me put those back up now they are back up all lovely and pleated um in this corner here i'm just really unsure what to do you would have seen me arranging that massive flory bouquet which i got from the range wade didn't particularly like it he said it was a bit too girly so i've decided to go and put that in my room upstairs instead the walk-in wardrobe room and then i've replaced it with what was in my walk-in wardrobe room which is this white vase with um faux eucalyptus so i think that actually looks quite nice i'm not sure what to do with the other bits yet um but we'll see i also got this from the range as well this was only like two pound fifty and how cute is that so that will go somewhere in here i've also got that big hurricane jar again I'm going to try and think of where to put it in here, but for now I've just collected the sort of accessories in that corner. Also, actually let me show you what I've done with that massive floral bouquet. Now the house is a bit of a tip, so where I've been taking stuff out of that room and putting it in other rooms, it means that the other bits of the house get a bit messy and my wardrobe room is no exception. And I'm not entirely sure where to put this at the moment, but for now I've just popped it here. So I've just popped the massive floral bouquet just in this corner here, but I thought it was so pretty with these coming down and then you've got all the different range of florals. And what I did is I popped faux moss, which I got from Amazon in there so that you don't see the stems of the flowers. So I really like that. And maybe it is better in here and said, oh, I'm out of breath coming up the stairs. Oh. Yeah, but maybe it is better in my room instead because it is very, very pretty. I've also brought up the Laughing Hippo up here as well. So we'll decide what to do with it. This room is an absolute tip. So when I clean it, I'll rearrange that in a better way. But back downstairs. So next job is to get this bedding on. So I'm going to strip the bedding. Oh, I can't even get through the, this little gap here. <laughs> 
Um, I'm going to strip all the bedding, get the new bedding on, and then I can show you what it all looks like all together with the bed and the bedside tables and all of that. Let me do that now. Okay, excuse the fact that I am extremely hot. Um, doing that, doing bedding is like hard work, isn't it? I was getting so hot and like flustered just getting all that bed sheets on, but oh my gosh, it looks beautiful. I am so, so happy with how this has turned out. So I'm going to swing you around and you're going to see the bed, the bedside tables, the new bedding, the new blinds. Are you ready? Let's go. Look at that. Oh, I'm so, so happy with this corner. Like how wonderful. Like I'm just obsessed. So sorry, I've got plastic all over me. You could be here loads of rustling because plastic's like sticking to me as I'm walking around. So let's talk about the bed first. Can we believe that this bed was pink? Like, how well has that fabric paint turned out? Like, you would never know. Like, anyone who would come in here and they'd just come in here for the first time, they would think that we bought a black bed. They would never know. Like, you'd never know, would you? I'm so, so impressed with it. Now, I must say, it has altered the texture slightly. It is a bit rougher than what it was. So... If you're thinking that you can get it completely as the same, I mean, you might do a better job than me. They did say to brush it. I did brush it, but maybe if you brush it more, I don't know. But it is a little bit rougher than it was, but it still looks like velvet. It still does the up and down of, you know, when the fabric changes, when you sort of swish your hand around. It's still soft. It's just not as soft as it was. But two coats of fabric coat paint. I'm so, so impressed with it. And then, what should we want next? Bedside tables. Now, look at those bedside tables. Can you now see my vision? Those with the black bed, obviously the black bed wasn't always in the vision, but now it's there, we're gonna say it's in the vision. With the paneling, how beautiful are they? Like, I am so, so happy with them. So you've got them on either side of the bed. I think they came up wonderful, and the whitewash just really, really like added something extra to it. So very, very, I'm just so happy with all of it. Excuse all the rubbish that's over there, but I'm just so happy with how they turned out. Um, and then the bedding, what do we think of the bedding? So all this bedding is from Dusk. Um, so the two big cushion covers at the back, the these white pillowcases, they're actually really nice because they've got like a white piping detail on the edge. So they still look quite nice when they're stood up like that. And then this bedding here, which I love with a little, bluey grey balls at the end of them, same on the duvet and I think the king size duvet actually works really well. I was a bit worried at first it was a little bit too big but I think it actually works really nice and I like how it now drapes over the bed. Before you could just see the mattress all the time and it was really bugging me like along this side here so I think that now looks so much better with the king size mattress. Also it'll be extra extra cozy for us when we get into bed tonight um, and then the black linen cushions as well from dusk this cushion here we actually got from home sense so i'm so happy that we can now use that properly and it matches really well with the cushions at the back and also with the paneling and then this throw i picked it up from ikea so i wanted a really big sort of throw at the end and i like that sort of like two sword rough sort of vibe so not like super straight but just adding something a bit of texture at the end that's what i was going for a bit of texture then you can still see the black of the bed at the back as well so let me know what you think we did a lot of projects and i feel like this room is really really coming along now so we've got the blinds we've got the bed we've got the bedding we've got the bedside tables i also found this um lampshade upstairs it's a gray linen which i thought matched perfectly with our new blinds so i popped that on our lamp i love that lamp that was from an antique store that we got um a couple of years ago before we moved in actually and i'm just obsessed with how simple it is but i love that sort of coily design in the middle so popped a gray lampshade on there not sure if it's going to stay there i wish i had two of them because i think they look really nice on here especially with the sort of antique brass with the handles i think it goes really really well but i don't have two so i can't have them matching although one does look quite nice so maybe Maybe that's better. I was thinking to maybe spray paint these um, that we had black, but now I'm looking at that, I think that's a bit more, a bit more classy, a little bit more elegant with that lump there. So we will see. Um, and then obviously, you know, this little corner here, not sure what I'm doing with it yet. Got those blinds up there. So 
One half of the room is almost done. Um, next thing to come is a shelf, as I mentioned about our projector. So we're gonna get a shelf up there with some nice black sort of um, brackets, a bit industrial style to just add a little bit of maybe masculinity into the room because Wade was a bit worried that it would get a bit too feminine. So I think that will add a bit of an edge to it. And then a projector, which hopefully will then project onto this white wall here. So that's what the last bits for over here. Oh, and maybe some prints actually. I was saying to Wade he can choose some prints. Um, we've also got a new light to put up. Um, and then I've got to decide what to do with this furniture over here. So I'm thinking to paint it black. Let me know what you think. I mean, it worked so well in the bed. We could paint the green chair and that thing, the bench there, black as well. Let me know. Do we think that would be a good idea? I think it would look nice black. Maybe. Um, and then we've got two little shelves to pop up on the wall as well. Now, the little side table is, I think, too little. <laughs> Every time I look at it, it looks like a man with a hat on. <laughs> um, so there's all the recycling there. But, yeah, I just think it's too small. So... Do we just bin it? Like, do we just scrap the project? Is it one of the projects out of this weekend that didn't go as well? I mean, all the other ones went really well, so do we just scrap that one? Or I was thinking to buy another two bowls and then have two balls, so then the table's higher. I thought that could look quite nice. That is just way too low. Like, it just doesn't, it just looks like it shouldn't be there. Um, I was thinking maybe of two balls, that would look nice. <laughs> let me know what you think. Should we do two balls or should we scrap it? That sounds really weird, doesn't it? But please let me know. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. It's always one of my favourite ones, doing lots of home improvements in one go. I do need to get myself ready now because we were supposed to have left 25 minutes ago. Um, Wade, Kiara and Bonnie are at the park, so I'm going to give them a call and say, come on guys, we need to, we need to go. Because um, we need to go down to my parents' house in London, which is like an hour away for my brother's birthday. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to go and sort myself out a little bit because I've got a bit hot and flustered there doing the bedding. And then tomorrow, I was thinking to do a different style of vlog. We've done a lot of um, housey vlogs the last few weeks. And I'm thinking tomorrow, maybe have a really chilled day. What do you think? Do you think you'd enjoy a chilled, relaxing Sunday vlog, self-care, a bit of baking? What do we think? Might go for a roast dinner. Let me know. Let me know if you'll enjoy those types of videos and if you want to come along with us for our relaxing Sunday. Um, I do need to do a lot of self care because I don't know what's happened, but my skin is just not playing ball at the moment. It's just unhappy. So I need to do a big skincare routine. I bought some new products as well, actually, from Cult Beauty, which I started using a couple of days ago and it's already getting my, my skin was so angry. And those products have already started getting my skin back to a happy state so i can show you those as well but yeah please let me know in the comments if you would like to see that video and um, hope you have had a lovely weekend and you're having a lovely sunday please like this video if you did enjoy it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet and we will see you in the next one bye